One of the most talked about people in the world is Elon Musk, and so it was only a matter of time before Goat Simulator roasted him. While trotting around, you'll eventually stumble across this floating mansion, and heading inside reveals the owner Mr. Snusk, and things only get worse from here. The quest is called Clean Energy, the Twitter logo is on the wall, and that's when you realize this isn't SpaceX, but instead, space sucks. But if there's one game that's gonna troll celebrities, it's South Park, and they didn't hold any punches against Tom Brady's cheating scandal. Around the town, you can find a few locked doors that could only only be accessed with a key code you learn later in the game. But we'll look up the number before you're meant to, and it won't unlock the door. Instead, Cartman will humiliate you. Hey, Tom Brady, you want to play the game, or do you just want to be known as a smug cheating for the rest of your life? And while you're progressing through Need for Speed Unbound's campaign, you can unlock all types of upgrades, including my absolute favorite, the ASAP Rocky Horn. This isn't just any regular old upgrade. The game literally turns Rocky into a budget Lightning McQueen. Beep, 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 beep. beep, beep. In six months after the infamous Will Smith Oscar slap, we all finally got to enjoy God of War Ragnarok. But in a boss fight, Thor says this. Wow, <laughs> that's like Will Smith. <laughs> I mean, this can't be a coincidence. Now, it's still not as funny as the time NBA Jam added politicians into a basketball game. For some reason, the Clintons were unlocked as playable characters, letting you dunk on your favorite basketball players as Bill and Hillary. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, Hillary is better at the game than Bill. Sends it over. <laughs> A more subtle way of trolling a celebrity was in UFC Undisputed 2010. Considering this is an MMA game, you wouldn't expect Shaquille O'Neal to turn up. Activating a secret code on the main menu unlocks Shaq, and at 7'1", it sounds like an insane fighting advantage, but the devs had other plans. Yeah, the stats are super mid, and there's a good chance you get knocked out from a single punch. Big slam! It is all over! That is some nasty ground and pound. And Rockstar didn't give an ounce of respect when it came to GTA 5's roast of Mark Zuckerberg. When the game released, he was essentially king of the world with Facebook at its peak, so the devs dunked on him in the most horrifying way. Facebook is renamed as Life Invader, which isn't subtle at all, and years before their actual personal data scandal, GTA predicted it. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. Even later in the game, you'll have to put an end to this plan for world domination by assassinating Jay Norris in such a gruesome way that I'm sure Facebook wasn't happy about it. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, oh, Jesus! Whoa! Speaking of uh, messy situations, Outlaw Golf is a PlayStation 2 game from the early 2000s, and the developers wanted to hire a talented actor as the commentator. The role was given to Steve Carell, who you may know as Gru or Michael from The Office. The only problem, the script was terrible. Remember, gentlemen, after the game, these ladies will be available for autographs and lap dance. Bro. What are they doing to my man Steve? Elon Musk can't catch a break, because in Postal Brain Damage, the game's villain is called Leon Dusk, and inside his penthouse, there's a ton of things to find. He's a space rocket that looks a little inappropriate, an ad that makes fun of Hyperloop, and the cherry on top is in Elon's bed. You won't find a real girlfriend, just a body pillow of the woman from the Nightmare Reaper. No. Death Stranding is full of celebrity cameos like Jeff Keighley, Junji Ito, and Edgar Wright, but there's one that players took way too far and that involves Conan O'Brien, dressed as an otter. Hey Sam, Sam Bridges, uh, welcome to our summer home by the fall. Pretty ridiculous on its own, but then people discovered a house that belonged to Conan, and it was covered in mushrooms. This wasn't a design choice, it turns out mushrooms grow after you pee on the ground, meaning thousands of people were going to Conan's house and taking a leak on it. One person even left a sign that said no peeing, and it has almost 500 likes. But the creator of Death Stranding got a taste of his own medicine when people loaded into Cyberpunk 2077. At one of the expensive bars in the city, you could run into a guy named Oshima who talks for hours with other NPCs. He sits there bragging about the emotion in his games and asking who recognizes him. Maybe you couldn't tell from the resemblance, but this guy is meant to be Hideo Kojima. While he's not obnoxious in real life, it's still a funny jab at a fellow developer. Bringing it back to South Park, you could visit the movie theater while exploring the town, and while you can't actually see the screen, you can definitely hear it, and let's just say Rob Schneider gets eviscerated. Rob Schneider is... 
I'm still confused about the strange cameo in GTA Vice City stories because one of the most beloved musicians in the world, Phil Collins, is actually being hunted. In one mission, you have to protect Phil from gangs that are trying to kill him, and we have no idea why. Whether Rockstar's applying a dark past or just straight up trolling, this is still unsolved to this day. An Easter egg seriously backfired in 2010 when Plants for Zombies decided to pay homage to Michael Jackson. They added a secret thriller zombie to the game, with the devs slyly mentioning how any resemblance between dancing zombies and persons living or dead was purely coincidental. This was the worst timing imaginable because Michael passed away just a month later, and so the Jackson estate even asked the devs to remove it, so they changed the design out of respect. But there is one Easter egg that was straight up banned by a whole country for being offensive. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 had a DLC pack full of cool outfits, but one of them was the House of M design for Magneto. Now this was based on the comics, but even the original design was secretly made to look just like the King of Spain. You'd think they wouldn't care, except the opposite happened and the Spanish monarchy demanded an apology from Marvel. Years later, Capcom didn't get the memo and accidentally added it into a DLC pack, so the royal family threatened to sue him. A celebrity that embraced the joke was Sean Bean. In Hitman 2, he appears in multiple commercials to promote the game and is one of the very first targets in the story. You actually get to hunt down and kill Sean Bean in a variety of brutal ways, which is a reference to how his characters are always infamously killed off. Sometimes the celebrities are the ones doing the roasting. Ryan Reynolds recently purchased a football club that is playable in FIFA 23, and in game, he didn't hold back against the other teams. Of course, we're talking about Liverpool. Tiny, tiny club in the pool. Tiny club, tiny town. There's gotta be something about Hollywood actors and trolling you, because Demolition Man does the exact same thing. I'm mean, sure this was a game based on a movie, but I don't think anyone expected Sylvester Stallone to appear out of nowhere and insult you for being bad at the game. Hey, puke Skywalker, use the force. You. Sorry. One of the most viral cases of celebrity trolling was the feud between GTA 5 and Lindsay Lohan. She claimed that the iconic blonde girl loading screen was using her likeness, and it went even further. At one point in the game, you have to protect a model from paparazzi, and her name is Lacey Jonas, so you can see why Lindsay was annoyed. But if someone based the character on me and said this, I might also be a little offended, okay? One photo of me can sell for like six figures. I'm so hot right now. But there's a secret cameo in The Last of Us Part 2 that barely anyone noticed. Far into the story, you get caught in a trap and the enemies approach and taunt you. You'd only realize if you listen closely, but this guy right here is played by Logic, and he doesn't just get insulted by Ellie. Within the first minute of appearing, Logic's character gets murdered by a clicker. <laughs> There is no doubt when it comes to another famous line, and this time, it's in Borderlands 3. You can speak to a guy named Buff, who is a die-hard movie fan, speaks in a vague accent, and has the same haircut as Tommy Wiseau. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Vault Hunter. One of the funniest celebrity jokes is the brutal appearance of Jack Black and Susan Sarandon in High on Life. During a villain monologue, he thinks these guys are your parents, and let's just say, it doesn't go too well. <laughs> okay, Tommy Hunter. Enough. If you're gonna appear in a video game, don't do it this way, because GTA Vice City took shots at a famous film director. Steve Scott directs adult movies like Bite and Closer Encounters, and I would show you the posters, but my channel will get deleted, okay? Of course, these are direct parodies of Jaws and Close Encounters by Steven Spielberg, so let's hope he isn't offended by Steve Scott yeah, over here. Boy. South Park's at it yet again, and one of their most famous episodes of all time revolved around Kanye West being Aquaman. So when the game released, they kept the joke going more ridiculous than ever. Kanye announced his own game back in 2016 called only one, and people thought it looked terrible. It never released, but that's when South Park decided to finish the job, replicating it for themselves, but with as little effort as possible. I mean, it's literally a Flappy Bird minigame. One of the best movie references has to be this place in Goat Simulator, where you can find a fake version of Dom's Garage from Fast and Furious, named Doretto's. It has the classic sports car inside, along with a bald dude named Tom Doretto and his friend O'Connell. But the funniest detail is the license plate, which makes sure you know he's an actor. Those are 24 games that trolled celebrities. It's been Tommy and keep it here on T5G.